Um, Stratford's origins are fascinating. I mean, it, the, the area goes back at least as far as the Anglo-Saxons and the Danes. It's mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Um, it was an economic powerhouse. Stratford's industrial heritage, I suppose, begins in the Middle Ages. It reaches its industrial peak in the 19th and 20th centuries with Stratford as a railway centre, um, linked to the huge docking system just nearby. But Michael Hesselhead is one of those rare politicians who has a, had a vision. He saw Stratford as being the absolute key to, to, to linking the, the Thames Gateway into London. So he understood better what Stratford could do for London than think anybody else. And Stratford is one of the best connected parts of London. Connectivity is amazing, and so getting here and from here, getting to other parts of London for work, is very easy indeed. And that in itself is something that people don't have the opportunity to have elsewhere. And it even has, not very far away, its own airport in the shape of London City Airport, which serves a wide range of destinations. And then we've got Crossrail coming in in 2019, uh, which will bring trains into Stratford and give us that service direct to Heathrow. So phenomenal transport. The most impressive thing about the area as a whole, actually, is the people who are here and the vibrancy, the entrepreneurial spirit, the small businesses that exist and the hard work. This is a booming, bustling, entrepreneurial, vital, enjoyable and exciting place. Stratford is fantastic. It's exciting, diverse and it's, it's real. It's real London. Stratford's the place to be. I think the one endearing quality Stratford has is this energy. There's something here, there's a buzz, there's something about East London. And you can sense it, and it's very special, and that's something that we're very aware of. As you know, the Stratford Centre does pull in a very high footfall. Uh, we're hoping this, this year we will exceed 24 million. We've got a traditional indoor market, um, which was originally the Angel Lane Market, uh, still very popular with the people of Stratford. We're looking to extend South Mall and uh, put in a, um, an improved retail offer. So I think the future, future for the Stratford Centre is very bright and very positive. I think the, the opening of Westfield Stratford City has had an enormous impact. It's brought um, many millions of people into Stratford in a very short space of time. We've had a stellar uh, performance since we, we opened. Um, uh, we're seeing over 800,000 people come through the, the centre every week. Um, those numbers are quite extraordinary even in a, in a city like London. We've still got opportunity for a million square feet of office. Um, we've built three hotels already. Of course we've got 1,200 uh, homes to deliver. So this project uh, for us as a company will grow and grow. Well, from when I was at school at Carpenters Primary School, Stratford High Street has changed immensely. Well, the cultural quarter for, for number one is an amazing place. You've got Fitz World, you've got Stratford Circus, and you've got the picture house there. And this is where Stratford really wins because it has a fantastic current supply of housing with lots of new stuff coming on with the Olympic Park. I think it'll be an exciting place for people to, to live in. To have a, a new community of just under 3,000 homes, 2,800 homes, um, with uh, all the public open space, all the homes of good quality, they all have balconies, uh, they have courtyard gardens, uh, there's a new school, the Trouble Academy, there's a major health centre. So it, it will be a wonderful place for, uh, for people to live. And if you add it all together, it, it's sort of the best of London on your doorstep. Uh, at a price you can afford to pay. You know, someone coming from central London to work down here, you know, they could cycle to work from an apartment in East Village, uh, through the park, they can go for a swim at lunchtime in the aquatic centre, uh, they can see if they can beat Victoria Pendleton's time in the evening on their bike in the velodrome. We are going to turn the Olympic site into one of the greatest parks in Europe. A visit to London, without coming from Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park will be a visit waste. As a business location, it's got everything. It just needs the, the businesses to come down here and uh, the buildings to be created for them to occupy. Stratford, it will grow. Um, people will take their inspiration from what we're doing.
Stafford is primarily a very young place. The people are here already and they're hungry for opportunity. I'm very, very excited about the future of Stratford. I mean, things can only, only get better. This is just the start and there's plenty more to come.